Some of you aren't going to believe this. I can hardly believe it myself. But the bin is up. Let's go over and take a look. The excavator came and finished off the grating all the way around. Been uh, company with me a pile of boxes and a bunch of pallets. Let's focus on the positive here. So this is the unload auger. And then hopefully it's not too windy. There's the power sweep. And those cables hanging down are the moisture and temperature sensors. And the inner door, this is one of three kind of uh, heavy duty pressure doors to uh, take the weight of the grain. There's the roof. And then, or there's the man door ladder coming down. So that ladder or that man door is uh, up on the landing. Oh, it's windy out here. I'm just going to close this. Let's go take a look at uh, this one. So there's two motors here, one at the bottom and one at the top. There's seven and a half and ten hours. And the electrician was here today and they wired everything up in here. There's no power in this panel yet, but he said he was out here. I guess it must be locked. Which is fine. Some stairs. Essentially, put a um, another 15 foot bin right here and share the stairs. So, this is my fan. And I bought the heater, but I'm not going to use it just yet. So, I'll probably put the LP or propane. future, but for now I'm just going to use air. You can see I'm, I'm happy with how the elevation came out over here. I'm showing, you know, 8 inch of foundation. But between the uh, bin constructor and the excavator, they um, well, didn't do me a whole lot of favors over here. Spoke about positive things. This is one of the negative ones. I would have liked it to be a little bit, a little more room underneath that. But that's going to have to be where it is. And opinions may differ, but I think that bracket should be up another three feet or so, as high as it can get on that auger, just to give it more stability. But again, I haven't uh, never used one of these. Or I've never uh, seen one up close. I've used them, but I've never seen one up close. So that, the electrician today was telling me that uh, there's a variable frequency drive that I have because I have single phase power and all these motors are three phase. They're going to have to, it's not waterproof, so they're going to have to go order and buy a uh, weatherproof box and mount it on the back side of that uh, exterior panel thing. And then they'll run their wires to that, and then they'll dig a trench along the back to go to the big blower, and then they'll dig another trench over here to come over to here. I'll have the switches on this wall next to this door for the augers, unload augers and power sweep, and then I'll have an unloading, or a uh, 220 volt outlet over here a couple of lights, I think, on the exterior. Um, I'm still about 10 days, maybe two weeks away from combining soybeans, 
and I would like to be able to use this bin for that. But um, it looks pretty slick, and I, and I have room to put another bin right, you know, another 36 foot bin over here where I'm standing. So I'm glad I've got this all. I got the bean head out and the combine out earlier with the cornet on it. And I'm getting both of those ready. Man, I hope it's not too windy. But uh, my auger is supposed to be showing up here maybe tomorrow. 71 foot auger, 10 by 71. To get stuff in up in the top. Oh, and there's an electric grain spreader too. So uh, it's been a few days since the last update. I had a hard time. Uh, well, there's some details I need to get wrapped up. So that's all for now. Um, well, stay tuned.